If you feed birds in your backyard during the summer and happen to live near a woodland, uh, you might have rose-breasted grosbeaks coming in to sample some of the sunflower seeds that you put out for the cardinals. Male rose-breasted grosbeaks are pretty unmistakable with their beautiful rose-colored chest, but females and uh, juvenile birds look much like uh, just big brown sparrows. This juvenile bird is actually, actually a little more colorful than the female because it has kind of a peachy colored breast where the female would be uh, mostly just kind of white with some uh, black streaks there. By the way, the rose-breasted grosbeaks are known as the potato bug bird because they also like to eat those uh, Colorado potato beetles that are uh, chewing up your potato plants. So a very beneficial bird. Monarch butterflies need milkweed plants around because their caterpillars eat milkweed leaves and nothing else. Uh, but uh, as you can see here, uh, adult monarch butterflies like milkweed plants too. Uh, this female is drinking nectar from a swamp milkweed plant. There, there are many different kinds of milkweeds, even here in Iowa, about a dozen different species. Uh, monarchs can take advantage of all of them. Uh, we're most familiar with the common milkweed in the ditches. Many people plant butterfly milkweed in their uh, backyards and uh, the swamp milkweed here uh, likes to grow out in uh, well wet swampy areas so uh, be looking for the monarchs here as we move into late summer their population should start to build up now in uh, the next several weeks this gorgeous little green bug is uh, called a golden-eyed lacewing it's a member of the green lacewing family and uh, all the lace wings are good. <laughs> uh, the, they're actually, uh, the larvae are called aphid lions and you can buy uh, lace wing eggs and uh, kind of release them in your garden. And when the larvae hatch, they specialize in eating up the aphids that are otherwise sucking the life out of your garden plants out there. This, this uh, Tame one here was uh, sucking some of the salt off of my finger. So you can kind of get an idea of how big they are. But usually you'll see them around uh, maybe your uh, porch lights at night. Uh, that's kind of when they like to fly. So uh, be on the lookout for the green lace wings.